wanted to talk to you about uh, Umar Nias, the Everton forward, who has become the first player to be banned after a game for yeah. diving. A two-match ban. Uh, yeah. It did seem as though there was some contact. Are you in favour of this sort of look back two days later yeah, by I'd, a three-man panel? Yeah, I'd be totally in favour of it, Nathan. I mean, people people keep keep. Going. I tell you, when when they really found out diving and they was really proven that they're diving, I think the manager of the team should also be penalised in some way. The managers of the team over the years are mostly responsible for this. You go back to, I remember uh, years ago, when Wenger, uh, I think it was Perez, was Perez, playing, yeah. Yeah, playing, I'll never forget it, I think he was playing against Port, it was a good few years ago, most outrageous dive you've ever seen in your life. Wenger was asked, oh, I didn't see that. Or, well, we had one given against us last week, that's what Ferguson used to always say. They never answered the question, did he, did he dive there? Right Now, I think if you held the managers responsible in some way, then they would... Like the, like this, this suspension. But did he 100% dive? Which the... Nias, the player who was banned. I, I, I wasn't sure at this particular incident. But there, I think this should be looked at. Now, I'm not saying this was the right decision or not, but there's lots of decisions which would be obvious that they did dive. Mm. There's no doubt. And the other thing they got about, and they, they tried it for a while, they're pulling and shoving from the corner kicks. Right? Now, that, that, the, the referees allowed them to get away with that for years. And it became part of the game. Right? And if they really, really put their foot down and stop that, the managers would say, whatever you do, don't go grabbing yeah. it. Because you're going to give a penalty away and you're going to be sent off. Right? So that's it. Now, the diving, all the managers, I've never seen a manager yet condemn diving. Say, well, that happened to us last week and the referee is there to see it and uh, goes around, you know, goes all, the, all, the, all those excuses. And the following week, they go mad <laughs> if there's a penalty given against them. So uh, I, I, I would encourage the technology to do it, right? If there's any doubt, I'd say if there's any doubt like this one particular there, I would be inclined to let it go. But certainly do the ones that are really, really obvious. So there's no controversy about it afterwards that the manager can't say, oh, we were hard done by there. That it's, you know, there's, just pick out the right ones and start it. I think there's, there's a big room for technology in, in the game. In, in many instances, yeah. I mean, if you take go, go back over, how long did it take us to do the over the over the line technology for goal disputes? Never mentioned now. No, no, automatic, the, automatic, great. Now, how long did it take us to do that? And what's happened, I think, with a lot of the associations, we can't bring it in until all the teams have it. Now that's rubbish. I mean, why not do start it where you can start it? I mean, if the four division teams, for example, can't afford it, well, yeah, you're not losing anything. Mm. By the top team's been able to afford it. Start it anyway and see, what's, see what... And if the, the other clubs can afford it, but at least cut it out at the top level. You know, like the, 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 some penalty incidents. I wouldn't say them all because yeah. a lot of people say, oh, we'd be stopping the game every... I don't agree with stopping the game every five minutes. But for serious disputes, whether it, it was a penalty, whether it wasn't a penalty, uh, it wouldn't be... The throw-ins is a different thing. All the corner kicks can be a different thing altogether. But certainly the diving for goals because the, what's happened now the players actually they must practice it because they're absolutely brilliant at it you know they're going past the player there's a little contact and they actually finish up have you ever noticed the, the forward actually kicking the defender leaves his leg hanging so it because what, what a lot of people say oh there was contact of course there's contact I mean if I walked over and kicked you now there'd be contact yeah you know but if you're running at full speed even the slightest little bit oh, of contact it's, 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 it's so difficult to see I don't blame the referees yeah. the players are masters at it. Now, they, they obviously must practice it because it, it, looking at it, I, I'd have to watch it two or three times myself and say Jesus what happened what happened there but in those situations if I had a doubt I'd give the benefit of doubt to the person person that was was being penalised right. I was doing it Yeah. but go for this the, the, I tell you if we do enough on the ones that are clear to see there'll be plenty and I think it would, what the managers would then say, don't take any chances on it, just don't do it. 